Hey guys, Shimmer here, and today I'm bringing you a guide on the Daedric War Celebration event coming to Elder Scrolls Online. As always, there will be time links in the About section and in a pinned comment below, as well as clickable chapters, so if you want to skip over some parts, you can, but let's get to it. The Daedric War Celebration event is an in-game event that will begin Thursday, January 20th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, and will end on Tuesday, February 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. In order to participate in this event, you will need to have purchased or have access to the Morrowind chapter, Clockwork City DLC, or the Somerset chapter. The Morrowind chapter is now included with the base game, and Somerset and Clockwork can be purchased via the Crown Store ESO website, or you can gain access to those zones by becoming an ESO Plus member. During the event, you will receive bonus rewards and perks as you venture out and explore Vardenfell, Clockwork City, and Somerset. You can enjoy double non-event reward boxes for zone daily quests and trial weekly quests, increased rewards from harvesting nodes in those zones, bonus loot for defeating world, delve, and trial bosses in those zones, a chance at a drop for the tradable style pages for the Doctrine Ordinator outfit style in the Vardenfell and Clockwork City public dungeons, and a guaranteed drop for the Doctrine Ordinator style by defeating the final boss in both Asylum Sanctorum or Halls of Fabrication Trials. Note you will not receive bonus rewards from fishing nodes and heavy sacks. For event goodies, you will have a chance to receive Daedric War Spoil boxes throughout the duration of this event by doing various activities in those three zones. You will get a chance to loot these reward boxes for finishing the event intro quest, slaying delve and world bosses, slaying monsters, opening treasure chests, safe boxes, lootable objects, sigic portals, thieves troves, and harvesting nodes in those zones. Uh, closing Abyssal Geysers, and from slaying bosses within the Halls of Fabrication, Asylum Sanctorum, and Cloud Rest Trials. These Daedric War Spoil boxes will have the chance to reward Evergloam Champion Weapon Style Pages, Gloam Griffin Fledgling Pet Room Box, Crafting Materials, Style Items, Treasure Maps, and Motif Chapters for Vardenfell, Clockwork City, and Somerset Zones, Overland set items, vendor sellables, transmutation crystals, snowhawk mage armor style pages, flag town diver skin room box, and microtized verminous fabricant pet fragment. Also, each day when you complete your first daily quest in Vardenfell, Clockwork City, or Somerset, or complete the weekly Asylum Sanctorum or Cloud West quest, you will receive a glorious Daedric War Spoils reward box. This will have a greater chance to contain the rarer rewards. You can earn one glorious Daedric War Spoils reward box per day. To begin the event, you can start by picking up the quest Guidance for Guides, which you can pick up for free in the Crown Store by clicking on this Feature tab or the Quest Starters tab in the store. This is where it will appear. Also, the irony that you're currently watching a guide on how to pick up the quest Guidance for Guides is not lost on me. Alternatively, you can pick up the quest from an NPC named Kalanir who can be found near any Impresario tent. The Impresario is a vendor who appears during in-game events only and will disappear upon the conclusion of the event. She will return at the next in-game event. She will stock items that will be limited to that event period only and some that will return during the next event. This is where you can spend your event tickets that you will earn during in-game events. She can be found in Daggerfall in Glenumbra, Vokogard in Auradon, Davin's Watch in Stonefalls, Vivek City in Morrowind, Alinor in Somerset, Ribbon in Elsewhere, and Solitude in Greymoor. During this event, she will stock all three Soulfire Dragon Illusion pet fragments, the first fragment for the scales of Akatosh skin, Evergloam champion weapon style pages, Gloam griffin fledgling pet, and group repair kits. This event will introduce the first opportunity to begin collecting this year's first morphable event reward. More fragments will become available in future events to morph your soul fire dragon illusion pet into the scales of Akatosh skin. During the Daedric War Celebration, you can earn up to two event tickets per day per account. 
You can earn one event ticket by turning in your first Vardenfell or Clockwork City daily quest, and you can earn one from turning in your first Somerset daily quest. You can earn a total of 26 event tickets throughout the duration of this event. In order to unlock the dailies in each zone, you will first need to complete some prerequisite quests. In Somerset, there are daily delve and world boss quests that do not need to be unlocked, but you can find a quest that will lead you to these quest givers that will give you 332 gold. It is optional and you can pick up the quest Divine Deputations on a bounty poster as you enter the city of Alinor. Justicar Tenorian will give you a daily delve quest. Justicar Farewell will give you the daily world boss quest. Battle Reef Tannerline will give you the daily geyser quest. This daily has to be unlocked by completing the quests The Queen's Decree, A Pearl of Great Price, and Buried Memories. Once you complete these quests, the daily quest giver, Battle Reef Tannerline, will offer the Abyssal Cabal quest, which is a short quest. Once you turn that in, you will unlock the daily geyser quests. For the Morrowind dailies, you will need to complete the first part of the main quest, Divine Conundrum. After meeting the Warrior Prophet and completing that quest, you will find a wanted poster at the front of the palace. This will give you the quest, A Call for Aid. This will lead you to the Halls of Justice, and once you turn in that quest, you will unlock the two Morag Tong dailies. Traylon Amoro will offer the daily delve quest, and Belaru Amoro will offer the world boss daily quest. These two daily quests will have the chance to reward Morag Tong crafting motifs. To unlock the two Ashlander daily quests, you will need to first head to Aldrin Camp and complete the Ancestral Ties quest. After completing that, head to Urshlaku Camp and find an NPC named Udami. This will give you the quest Ashlander Relations. Once you complete that, you will unlock the two Ashlander daily quests that have the chance to reward Ashlander crafting motifs. Numani Razi will offer the Delve dailies, and Huntmaster Sorum Nakar will ask you to hunt a deadly predator. For the Clockwork City dailies, you will find the NPCs in the Brass Fortress. Novice Holly offers the daily delve quests. You must first complete the delve quests in order to unlock these. You can get those quests uh, outside the delve entrances. The Clockwork Facilitator will offer a daily quest to kill a world boss. Rax Garug will offer daily quests that require visiting various places in the zone or harvesting nodes. The last daily quest giver is a crow named Burser of Tributes. In order for him to appear and offer you a daily quest, you must complete the following Clockwork City main quests. To the Clockwork City, In Search of a Sponsor, The Strangeness of Set, Deepening Shadows, and Lost in the Gloam. Once you complete those quests, the crow will appear here and offer you a daily quest. And that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and sub if you enjoyed, or if it helped you add any, and click that bell icon to be notified when I have new videos go live. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you in Tamriel. Bye!